Hi, welcome back everyone. Um, this time we are going to see how we can make a new encounter or a visit using OpenEMR. Now, uh, we go here when a patient comes in, if the patient is already there, you can search by any of the options given here and so you get a list of patients. You have already seen how to create a patient and all that stuff, so I'm not going through that again. So what we do is we select a patient. And we go here and we say, New Encounter. And of course, you will write down a chief complaint You select whether he is an established patient or a new patient according to what you need to do. The service facility where you are seeing the patient and the building facility the date of service if you have a hospitalization date you can do that. If you had already entered his previous allergies and stuff which of course I'll show you in the next video it will show up here so once you save this a new encounter has been created another way of creating a new encounter <coughs> is when you go to the calendar and if you had an appointment for a patient for today So you select that particular provider, the appointment shows up under his calendar. So this guy had made an appointment earlier, so today he is walking in. So your friend office will go here and say he has arrived and then an encounter is automatically created. Now this is just a matter of creating an encounter. Now you have to examine the patient, you have to do all your objective, subjective analysis and make the assessment and plan. So how do you do that? Different doctors use different forms. So Open EMR is very flexible that you can create your own forms the way you want it to be. Apart from some general standardized forms that is already given, there is plenty, there are plenty of forms available in the library which you can see when you go to administration and if you go to other and under forms. These are the forms that is currently enabled. So you have the fee sheet, you have the miscellaneous billing, HICFA options, the new encounter, review of systems, review of systems checks, mm -hmm. so and all those sort of things are already there. Now currently I have only included a few items from the library but there are trust me there are hundreds of forms that are available which you can uh, and the simplest way is you can register them by doing what I'm going to do right now you click on register it shows up uh, here under physical exam and then you install DB. Before that let me go back and show you uh, what has actually happened. So right now here you don't find that particular form. Physical exam form is not here. This is the home of the encounter where you can 
enter all his information and we will go back to that later on but let's go back to the forms again so once I install this DB it will be disabled and then you enable it and then you can go back to the encounter all the time by clicking on this whatever shows up here is the current encounter so you go here and when you click here see it comes under physical exam and you can select that form now let's go back now it's showing under miscellaneous so if you want to categorize it and you want to put it under clinical you can go here and you can so when you go back this thing will be under clinical so this is how you can keep adding the forms you can make your own forms put it in the library and just enable it it's very simple then there is also an option of a layout based form which again we will do it in another video so currently I have created an encounter for this patient and I'm going to do the vitals so you click on the vital form you enter all the information I'm just doing uh, stuff so far so you can save it so as you can see the vital information here so anytime anybody comes up and selects this encounter they can see okay uh, I, we have done the new encounter we have done the vital so that's all that has been done so far and you can collapse it and expand all or collapse all so you don't have to see the whole thing and you can expand individually so I did that then like I said earlier we have different kinds of review of systems this is one this is another one you can choose what you want to use or you can uh, create your own so I'll just go here So now you see those things that we have examined alone has come here. So now anybody who comes in and looks at okay his vitals is done, review of systems are done, maybe you want to do the physical exam, you go here, you can write comments you want. Again these forms can be changed, I am just doing it for the time being to show you how we can enter that. So we have done all this. Now we can also do a soap note. I can say and you save it. So you have the whole thing you have done and the encounter is almost over. Now what you have to do is enter the fee sheet. You have to enter the CPT and the diagnosis code for which when you click here it comes up. There is already predefined CPTs for if it's a new patient or an established patient. Now in this case we did an established patient so when you select that that particular CPT will come here and you can put in the modifier you want or you can just put in the price. Now you have to justify we have not entered an ICD code so you go here you can search if you don't know the code and it will all show up and when you have that it will come up here so that you can justify it now what if you have more than one ICD code
you press control and click that again and you can justify it with two select the provider the rendering provider since I'm logged in as an administrator it always defaults to administrator but if you're logged in as a physician it will default to you and then you save it there you have it you have done the entire encounter now if you want to send this report to somebody you can go back to the patient select the report from here and you can decide what you need to include medications today's encounter you see when you select that encounter you will get all the stuff we did for today so we are just selecting that and we are generating a report and of course when it prints it will come out in a different way this is how the report will look like and you can sign it and send it out of course now the question comes how do we add the prescription for that you go back again to the demographics here you can move back and forth between the encounter and the patient demographics in this way so you have the encounter details on the bottom and the demographics on the top so that you can see all his information whenever you want to see it. for example medications allergies all that you can see while you are uh, entering his medical records at the bottom so you go here you select prescription and you can add a prescription here by clicking add or you can search here When you save, you can you have the option whether you want to print it or print to the fax. If the fax is configured, you can email it. You can select the pharmacy, and you where you have entered the pharmacy in the address book. So if you have entered the ph pharmacy there before, you can automatically send it by fax. Otherwise, you can just print it. go back and you can see this again and so it's done so you have entered the whole thing we have seen how to send a report and we have completed an entire encounter with all the vitals the review of systems even the coding everything is done in the next video we will see how we will do the billing and how we will send a claim to the clearinghouse or how we will print a claim thank you very much